Hello everyone. I have something that I want to talk to you about. We had the evacuation drills for a volcanic eruption going on in Naples, Pozzuoli, especially Naples right now for the Campi Fligri super volcano. And interesting questions that you put in the comments of my last video and well, first, let's start with what were they practicing this time? So in cooperation with a school, so this time they had at least 120 students there because the last year's evacuation drill in Pozzuoli, only 30 people showed up. So the students, they were used to rehearse the evacuation drill for certain neighborhoods that they want to evacuate by boat to Sicily and Sardinia at the port of Naples. So today this was conducted at the Naples Maritime Station and intended for evacuees from Posilippo, Chiaia and San Fernandino and Monte Calvario destined to their twin regions in Sicily and in Sardinia. And you were wondering, okay, let's say the volcano erupts, will there be that boat? in the harbor how can they be sure that boat will be in a harbor good question and another question was how can you make sure that the captain is showing up if there is chaos if there's dark ash clouds everywhere uh yeah the same goes for the bus drivers their their system is basically you go to certain buff bus stations where you collect the people and then a driver gets you out if you if and they have certain districts and each district has their de designated evacuation route where they have to go. Many of the districts to the Via Tangenziale, I've said it, look at these columns. They're not retrofitted yet for the earthquake risk. At least it will take till 2027. And some have to go with the boats. So I think, and, and this is what it's designed for. This is their new evacuation plan that they released last year. It's designed if the volcano gives you a 72 hour warning that it might erupt. In reality, what all the scientists are saying, what the local INGV scientists are saying, when they're giving us a warning that we have to factor in that there could indeed be a volcanic eruption. So that's why I think they're naming this now evacuation drill for volcanic eruption. It used to be for earthquakes, for Brady seismic crisis. So the scientists are saying the most likely scenario is a phreatic eruption right now. So that means not the biggest one, hopefully. White Island style, maybe, maybe smaller, maybe Yellowstone style. But they also say you have to prepare for a bigger magmatic one as well, especially if you look at the history of the last eruption in 1538, Monte Nuovo, that was preceded by a phreatic eruption that was basically blasting the tunnels for magma to come up. Plus, if we add all the studies that come out basically on a daily basis, I'm reporting about this in my videos, just check my playlist. Um, the way for magma to the surface is being paved. And unfortunately, when we look at these studies, they're quite, how can I say, um, the paving is going quite well for the volcano. And uh, that's why, yes, I'm very happy that they're conducting this rehearsal. But many of you doubt, I see it in the comments, many of you wrote, well, I've lived in Naples for quite a while. We all know if Shizzy's hitting the fizzy that we won't get out. Uh, unfortunately, yes. If there's a 72 hours warning scenario or should they be wise enough to precautionary evacuate people, that's a different scenario. But if an eruption comes as a surprise, it's looking dire. So a big factor that I also always mention is these old Masary homes, they will collapse. Not much is holding them together anymore. They are most of them not reinforced for earthquake risk. This is a big, big deal if you want to have any chance to get out. Let's say there's a bigger earthquake, magnitude 5 is enough to, to broadly collapse these homes. And let's say there is a little bit more time to evacuate until something happens. Um, these homes should not collapse and clog the roads. So the good news is that 1.4 billion euros 
has been allocated. The news was out today for earthquake damage or prevention of earthquake damage or repair of current earthquake damage. Because when we had this year, the two magnitude 4.6, I mean, it's crazy how many magnitude 4 plus earthquakes we've already had at that volcano. And this year tops everything, basically. Um, homes have been damaged. Some ceilings have collapsed. Stucco came down. Walls were collapsing into rooms. So this damage is also factored in. So reconstruction and safety of buildings and infrastructure at the Campi Flegre area will get 1.4 billion, they say, for the affected areas from seismic events that have struck the area since May 2024. May 2024 is when we had the, basically the second magnitude plus four plus earthquake. We had one in 2023 and then it started really the current escalating unrest started with the magnitude 4.4 in May 2024. So they say up to 550 million euros may be allocated to the private sector to repair these homes and up to 815 million to the public sector for schools, public infrastructure. So they say the funds will be used to reduce seismic um, vulnerability of buildings, repair damaged buildings, um, including the ones that have been damaged this June by the magnitude 4.6 earthquake, the strongest ever. And they say they also want to strengthen the resilience of buildings in accordance with international built back better standards, hopefully international like earthquake codes. Uh, the not so good thing is, and, and but understandably it takes long, the work is scheduled to be completed in 2032. So the time frame is quite long. That's why evacuation drill today in Naples, at least something is happening. It was happening at the Maritime Station. You see the images here when the students were coming from the Benini de Sanctis State Institute, helping to simulate an evacuation as it's required by the National Civil Protection Plan for volcanic risk. So how this is planned, and I'm, I'm not sure this is going to work when, when there's a real-time disaster, because the plan was that the people that are supposed to be evacuated by boat, that they will reach three waiting areas that will be set up in the city of Naples. And you see this on the pictures, the Piazza Vittoria, the Piazza San Azaro, and the Piazza San Luigi. And then they would from there travel by bus to that meeting point at the port of Naples. But no road should be clogged so that a bus can get through. So no buildings should collapse. Is that realistic? Hmm, I'm not so sure. So when the bus arrives, they have this meeting point at the port of Naples. They have tents set up, they have chairs set up, and then they want to register evacuees before they're being transported to their twinned region. And the port is the assembly point. I don't think there'll be any registration, but again, if there's 72 hours, yes, that's possible, but then you'd be really, really, you'd have to be really lucky because for a phreatic eruption, chances are low, right? They come as a surprise, as we've seen in White Island, for example. So guys, that was the news from Campi Fligre. Let's have a quick look at the recent earthquake list. So every day we have an earthquake. Yesterday was not that many, but today also, these are only the ones you see above magnitude one. But every day the volcano is basically telling us, hey, I'm here. So guys, check out my Campi Fligre playlist. There's an update about the Blatten scenario, that tragic landslide that happened this year in May. And uh, now it's winter time and the mountain is still moving. And they're trying to, I don't want to say rebuild Blatten, but they're on the way. So I have new information for you. The video is in the end screen. So I hope to see you here in a second. Stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.